and uh, my name is Masfin Wasan. Currently, I'm working in Ethiopia Public Health Institute, which is a technical arm for the Federal Ministry of Health of Ethiopia. And currently, this institute has been working for the public health emergency management for priority uh, outbreak uh, diseases, and also working on the public health research uh, uh, interventions and also uh, the other uh, pillar of uh, activity for this institute is uh, building capacity for public health laboratory. So uh, I'm working in the wing of public health emergency management and uh, uh, cholera is one of the notifiable or reportable diseases under uh, public health emergency management of EPHI. Thank you so much. Next slide. So fr from my presentation, I will try to brief you about the introductions of the national uh, cholera plan and uh, uh, the journey of hotspot identifications and prioritization. And I will also try to brief you about the national situation analysis by the pillar put in the national uh, cholera prevention plans. And I will also uh, brief you the elimination plan by targets by pillars. And finally, I will let you know about the monitoring and evaluation tool for the uh, Ethiopian National Cholera Elimination Plan. Next, please. As you know, WHO member states has passed a resolution at the 71st Border Health Assembly in 2018, and they are committing to uh, provide or to put the global roadmap for the control and eliminations of cholera. Following this, Ethiopia has put commitment to uh, work on the uh, cholera prevention and control by uh, by following the roadmap which is uh, prepared by the WHO or GTFCC. Next, please. And following this, following this on July 2019, high-level governmental uh, dignitaries has had a meeting which was conducted, chaired by Her Excellency, Minister of the Ministry of Health, and called upon the development of national cholera elimination plan, which will be executed from 2021 and up to 2028. And during these meetings, partner implementing partners, uh, uh, sector offices, including Federal Minister of Health has uh, gave commitment to end the cholera uh, and implement the cholera elimination plan. Thank you, next. So this uh, national Korea plan, Ethiopia has already, as you know, developed the draft strategic documents. The naming of the document is national cholera plan. And the plan is aimed at reducing the mortality, uh, cholera mortalities by 90% uh, on 2028. And this uh, plan has six plus. One is a water sanitation and hygiene plan. The other, one, the other one is uh, the surveillance and the reporting strengthening. As you know, one of the major uh, pillar of activities uh, implementing a real-time surveillance system across all levels and uh, strengthening the reporting platform for immediately reportable diseases, including cholera. So strengthening the surveillance platform uh, is one of the major plot to early detect the uh, epidemics so that prompt response will be ensured. So the other one is the health case system strengthening, healthcare system strengthening on case management. And we are here just to strengthening the case management while we are detecting cases of cholera by establishing a very uh, strong healthcare system. And the other one is a leadership and coordination platform since it is a multi-sectoral approach multidisciplinary multi and multi-sectoral engagement for this plan is very crucial. So we are trying to incorporate the major pillar of activity in this pillar. The other one is a social behavioral change communication, SBCC, and uh, risk communication is very crucial for the NCP. So we are trying to identify the challenges and also try to incorporate uh, the major pillar of activities 
uh, under this pillar uh, to make sure that risk communication is in place for the NECP. The other one is uh, OCV. As you know, OCV is one of the major plans uh, for the NECP. So currently we are doing a reactive campaign for the outbreak area. And we are also planning to implement OCV for the hotspots prioritized where it does or county. Thank you. Next, please. So we are here. Here is the elimination strategy by pillars. As you know, the Ethiopia strategy is derived from this global roadmap and it is a multi sector. So these uh, six pillars are already incorporated in our plan leadership and coordinations, water sanitation and hygiene, surveillance reporting, OCV implementation, OCV vaccinations, health care system strengthening, and community engagement. Next, please. So these pillars are uh, aimed to implement in the hotspot Warada as a priority. So these hotspot Waradas were identified last year by the indicator of mean annual incidence and the mean annual persistence over the period of 2050 to 2020. So an, an, an incidence rate of above 100 cases per 100,000 population was considered as high incidence and occurrence of cases in 5% or high, higher of weeks under consideration was also considered as high persistence. And uh, during the hotspot prioritizations, we are trying to uh, search uh, contextual data of WASH and other related indicators data. But unfortunately, we couldn't get uh, this uh, WASH related data at WERADA level. And we are uh, all to uh, use the persistence and uh, incidence indicator detected or received from the IDSR platform, the IDSR reporting system. Next, please. Excuse me, we cannot Mason. hear you now. Mason, can you unmute yourself, please? Just unmute yourself. Okay, sorry, sorry, please. It was uh, muted. So shall I continue? Shall I continue? Yes, please, please do. So this slide is focused on the hotspot Warada identifications based on the indicator of persistence and incidence rate. So we are uh, totally identified 118 Waradas with more than 15 million populations. So already have been uh, included through the country. So we are doing this uh, activity by getting, by receiving uh, surveillance data from uh, the public health emergency management surveillance platform. So uh, the national Korea elimination plan will focus on this 180 water deaths because these waters are mainly uh, high incidence rates of cholera and persistently cholera was detected from this uh, uh, administration level. That is what I do. Thank you. Next. So the other pillar is the leadership and coordination. Currently, the coordination activity of cholera preparedness and response is by EPHI, Ethiopian Public Health Institute. And this uh, center provides technical and material support before, during, and after public health emergency. As you know, we have implementing IDSR platform. Public health emergency management is a multi-hazard and multi-emergency uh, uh, approach. And we are incorporating IDSR platform in this public health emergency management. So digital surveillance, response, recovery, and uh, preparedness activities are coordinated in this center. So cholera elimination plan will be also coordinated by the Ethiopian Public Health Institute, who is the leadership of the uh, Minister of Health. Next. So cholera among 23 reportable diseases in our public health emergency management. Cholera is one of the immediately reportable diseases. 
and a report was so, is supposed to send to the next health uh, system structure within 30 minutes of detections and it's supposed to be reported to the national uh, platform within 22 hours and response will be initiated uh, by user WARADA level and technical and administrative support will be supported by the next higher level. And currently cholera is uh, detected by our indicator-based and event-based surveillance system. As you know, as you may know, we have a, a very strong indicator-based surveillance systems with more than 90% of uh, surveillance data completeness and uh, timeliness. And currently we have also established an event-based surveillance systems and community-based surveillance systems that uh, uh, hotlines and media scannings are all in place in all regions so that rumors or others will be detected within short period of time. And also, as you know, climate sensitivity surveillance with the initiation of World Real Organization has also implemented in our country. So this uh, a project or this initiative will also supplementary for the uh, disease surveillance and the response of cholera and other wash and climate sensitive related, uh, related uh, disease surveillance and response. And rapid response team has already established from lower to higher level so that when uh, outbreak is detected, this uh, team will be deployed and coordinate the response in the, birth, in the outbreak area. And so this uh, uh, established rarity uh, will be uh, deployed from the national level, regional level, and zonal level to South area if there is a need of capacity at the lower level. Next, please. Uh, regarding the surveillance and the reporting systems, one of the major uh, issues is the laboratory because without laboratory detection is not real. So total of 10 uh, laboratories across in six regions are capable, capable of uh, doing the stool culture for cholera. And PCR tests also conducted in the steel laboratory. So this steel laboratory is distributed across uh, uh, in six regions. But as you know, we have uh, 11 regions. So we are trying to build the capacity in the rest of the region uh, to make sure that regions can detect and test uh, cholera related diseases uh, to, make, uh, to realize early detections of uh, uh, cholera cases. Until that, we are trying to link, uh, referral link those regions with the nearby neighboring regions to uh, check, the, to confirm the outbreak. And the National Laboratory of Ethiopian Public Health Institute also serves as a reference laboratory for all region, so that region can easily transport from uh, from the lower level to EPHI within one day, and uh, detections will be confirmed during a short period of time. And there is also a national environmental laboratory located at the Ethiopian Public Health Institute to test all environmental science samples. Next, please. So in the case management in the IPC pillar, our goal, our goal of our case management is just to decrease the case fatality rates uh, uh, lower than 1% and improve all the IPC activities at uh, uh, all levels. So in our uh, plan in 2019, our implementations was CFR was 1.9. Uh, and uh, in 2020, 1.8. So the increment in 2019 is uh, the increment of uh, multiple IDPs due to man meat and uh, natural disasters in, S, uh, in southern part of the country and eastern part of the country. And uh, th there, was a there were a poor infrastructures due to the standard case management and most of the outbreaks were detected in the hard to reach area with no access of water and uh, healthcare, healthcare uh, facilities, with poor health seeking behaviors and in, inadequate supplies of uh, uh, infrastructure or facilities. So uh, we are trying to minimize the case fatality rate by providing 
oral cholera vaccine for hard to reach area. Uh, so that uh, these uh, achievements are uh, getting. Next, please. So use of oral cholera vaccine is one of the tools for our uh, control plan since 2019. A total of three rounds of reactive oral cholera vaccine campaign has been have been conducted with a 97% coverage and a total of five, more than 5 million OCV doses have been received from ICG over the last three years and uh, 45 Florida with six regions with outbreak area uh, uh, have been provided this OCV and uh, currently we have received uh, 2 million doses from, G, from ICG to provide a preventive campaign for Tigray region. As you know, the situation in Tigray region is very worthy. So um, provisions of uh, OCV in discussions with the discussions of WHO, we have, uh, they have already approved for us and uh, the, the campaign will be started by tomorrow. So I hope we will have a very good achievement and uh, cholera risk will be minimized. And this, uh, uh, this campaign is the first campaign to provide for uh, to provide the preventive campaign, and I hope uh, we will have a very good achievements to minimize the risk of OCV, uh, or uh, cholera in the Tigray region. Next, please. Water sanitation and hygiene, as you know, uh, Minister of Water and Irrigation under the Ethiopian Federal. Uh, Government of Ethiopia is responsible for the uh, responsible for this activity. So we are doing this uh, plan in collaboration with the uh, Minister of Water and Irrigations. Particularly, this this plan is a pillar is the responsibility of them, and they are work there is a plan for them also. And uh, when we when we prepare this plan, they have played a very pivotal role to realize this uh, activity are ensured, particularly the water sanitation and hygiene pillar. So general population has, has uh, poor access to safe and adequate water, as you know, and the basic sanitation facility. The situation is worse, particularly in the hotspot uh, area and hard to reach area of the country. Only 7% people has access to clean water and 6% of people have access to improved sanitation or latrine. So generally, in the water sanitation and uh, hygiene, as you know, there is a very good health extension program. It's a community health worker responsible to manage the primary health care activity. And this uh, health extension worker will also improve the hygiene and sanitation or the community awareness towards this, uh, the improved water sanitation and hygiene activity. And the Minister of Irrigations and a director under the Minister of Health called the uh, uh, Health Extension Program and uh, Water Sanitation Hygiene Directorate will also be responsible to increase awareness uh, of the populations and also provide uh, uh, water sanitation and hygiene facility during uh, emergency. Next, please. Community engagement. Uh, currently, information on cholera is being communicated to people through different platforms. Like we have uh, a very strong uh, technical uh, working group in place in the Ministry of Health. So this Ministry of Health risk communications team will uh, establish very good platform to communicate uh, messages while uh, there is uh, emergency, for example. Currently, we have a good platform for COVID-19, so we can use that platform to provide messages through different channels, like mainstream media outlets, megaphones, FM radios, religious places, banners, posters. So behavior exchange communication platform is already in place, so uh, we have already used that platform to synergize our activity for this cholera community engagement. Despite this uh, vast efforts, we could also not be able to reach majority of our community because most of the community in our country has lack of uh, infrastructure, particularly electric power, and uh, 
safe water supply, but uh, the platform of communities engagement and key informants will play very pivotal role for the communications of messages during the emergency. Next, please. So this is the roadmap through this strategic plan. Ethiopia has already planned to decrease the mortality by 90% in 2028. We have already launched the NCP and submitted to the GTFCC IRP a uh, few weeks ago. And currently we have scheduled discussions by next Monday to, with the IRP so that after that we'll also take our responsibility to intervene. And uh, a next action plan will be prepared, but uh, we have already submitted uh, the NCP to the GTFCC. So in 2020, reduced uh, our, our plan is to reduce CFR by 70%. And at the end of the 2020, our plan is just to reduce CFR by 19%. Next, please. So this is a leadership and coordination organ graph. So deputy prime minister, the chair, the chair of uh, NHSCC. And so this wash cluster, UN agency donors, development partners, health clusters, and wash clusters, regional uh, uh, NHC and the RM council is also in place, regional energy bureau, regional water sanitation, energy bureau, regional transport bureau, all sectors of this and development partners will be part of uh, the NCP. And currently we are also uh, communicating our NCP, advocating our NCP to the implementing part development partners, organizations in sector office. So all the relevant uh, ministry will be engaged on the uh, NCP on the leadership and coordination pillar. Next, please. So surveillance will continue through the existing system. And we are, we are going to implement the DHS2 platform. Currently, we are not implementing this DHS2 platform for our IDSR. And uh, this surveillance data come from the low level to the high level uh, through manual based. That's the Excel, Excel based uh, platform. So two strategic objective here is to enhance the early detections, confirmations, reporting, and timely response to cholera outbreaks and monitoring the impact of the cholera controls by establishing electronic based reporting systems and uh, building the capacity at all level of the health systems. And the second objective is to enhance laboratory capacity for confirmations of cholera cases Assessment of the antibiotic susceptibility of the bacteria and tracking strength will be also ensured as object as one of the objects of for surveillance. So this too uh, is very crucial activity for our cholera surveillance because real-time information should be in place and early response, uh, prompt response will be secured for this term, for this uh, the confirmations of cases is very crucial so that to enhance and establish laboratory in all regions and the zonal level by assessment the gap in place in the region. Next, please. Case management and infection preventions. So case management, most of the IPC and case management activities are conducted in, uh, conducted in uh, Ministry of Health, one the, in uh, in the case management and infection prevention directorate. So we are working in collaboration with them. The goal of the case management in the IPC is reducing CFR by 90%, facility based tests particularly, and ensure that there is no local transmissions reported. And through these three strategic objectives, like increasing the accessibility of early treatment, strengthening of the healthcare systems, and strengthening of capacity for cholera case management is our uh, the three strategic objective under the case management and infection preventions control pillar. So we are doing this pillar of activity in collaboration with the Ministry of Health Directorate so that synergy will be created between public and emergency management and uh, 
case management PC. Next, please. So use of oral coronavirus vaccine is one of the major pillar. So admin OCB will be conducted in cholera hotspot Warada as post preventive and reactive. Currently we are doing reactive campaign is outbreak area and preventive campaign in Tigray region. And we'll also continue with this platform. And uh, currently uh, reactive campaigns uh, like cholera and other emergency response like uh, CBDP to circulating vaccine dry polyvirus and and the rest uh, vaccine preventable disease outbreak are coordinated by Ethiopian Public Health Institute, whereas the preventive campaign and routine immunization activity will be managed by the Ministry of Health API program. And currently we are working together uh, by coordinating the emergency response. So vaccine will always be in conjunction with the other preventive and treatment made, uh, methods. So eligible populations will be considered uh, for the vaccination. So our target is to vaccinate uh, more than 3 million people in 2021 at the end of this year. But uh, I don't think it, it, it will be implemented. But this is our total uh, plan is vaccinate uh, more than 50, 15 million uh, population and for this 30, uh, 30 million dose of OCV will be required. Next, please. So for, for OCV, we have drafted a three strategic objective. One is the reactive campaigns to be implemented in the detected outbreak area implement preventive larger scale mass vaccinations to be implemented in the hotspot or others, and to establish contingency agreement with the government agency and supplies. Next, please. So water sanitation and hygiene as previously uh, brief you, combinations of short, medium and long-term wash action should be ensured like uh, provision of wash facilities in OCB campaign, Wash Emergency Preparation and Response Plan, PRP, and provision of wash activity in affected community in high risk area and in specific strategic sites, and also implementation of wash activity in healthcare facility, schools using existing platform of one wash, and the development of appropriate water quality monitoring through the environmental laboratory uh, system. Next, please. So our target here is increasing basic water supply from 65% to 90% and improves the sanitation and hygiene coverage from 6% to 8% by 2028. So we are planning here just not uh, uh, to implement by our service, but we need to advocate and we need, uh, the Ministry of Water and Irrigations has considered these plans as its own so that uh, this achievement will be ensured by uh, creating a very strong coordination and collaboration platform among the government sectors and uh, development, development partners. So the focus is WASH during OCB, during OCB campaign, provisions of WASH facilities and the infrastructure will be ensured, and uh, WASH in affected community like provisions of temporary uh, wash facility, water pipe or water facility, water treatment chemicals, provision distributions of water treatment chemical should be uh, ensured, including the health facility wash. Next, please. So this three strategy will be in place in this pillar to strengthen emergency wash and during this preparedness and response uh, time to improve access to sustainable, adequate, and safe water supply in hotspot uh, Warada and increase the availability and utilization of sanitation facility by providing very strong behavioral change communication uh, activity. Next, please. So this is a community engagement uh, objective. One is the mainstream community engagement into all pillars not only on this pillar, but also in, in different 
health systems communication platform and increase the risk communication activity in mass gathering area. So a strategy will be drafted alone for the cholera and other notifiable disease risk communication. So that implementation will be followed based on the strategy developed by the risk communication team. So detections, notification, cooperation, cooperation during OCB campaign will be also uh, this uh, risk communication will be also mainstream during these uh, uh, activities. Next. Next. Next, please. So in the monitoring and evaluation, as you know, baseline assessment across all intervention pillar will be conducted. Um, based on you need to finish, uh, please. You need okay, to thank you so much. just summarize Thanks. and conclude. Yeah. So uh, we have conducted baseline assessment across all intervention pillar. And we'll conduct also baseline assessment in the introduction part of the NCP. And indicators was already drafted by all pillar of activities. So that based on that, We'll monitor the uh, national Korea elimination plan and also evaluate based on the time frame put in the uh, elimination plan at the end of the elimination plan. Next, please. 